Hi, Phil Aston here from the Now Spinning Group, nowspinning.co.uk, on Facebook. We have a Facebook group um, and also we're on Instagram. Um, this is the box set review and I've picked a box set from the mid noughties, I think it was about uh, 2006, and this is when box sets were really big box sets. Behind me you can see um, a Wishbone Ash box set which costs about 260 quid. This box set is as big as that but it cost £35 at the time. And this is the Electra forever changing box set. Just look at the size of this thing. Um, it weighs a ton. Um, you know, the postage itself probably would have been about 30 odd quid. So let's have a look inside. So this is the Electra forever changing box set. Um, and this is, this is equivalent now to something like the Wishbone Ash or Nazareth box set. Um, you just don't see this kind of thing anymore, not unless it's hundreds of pounds. And as I just said, this cost £35 from Amazon um, at the time, which is not that long ago, only about, um, I think, about two or three years ago. So let's have a look inside. So when we get the top off, we can see the track listing of the just five discs in this box that's all there is. Um, I'll hold that still so you can pause it afterwards and I might include a, a photograph as well. And then you get the next thing you find is this absolutely enormous book. Um, so I'm going to move the box out of the way just for a moment so we can have a look inside this. And this goes into absolute tons of detail. It's it's really good quality print. So the box set was produced in 2006 and it absolutely goes through every single period of the Electra story. Um, everything that's featured in the box has got a write-up, um, this background on every single band, um, all the tracks, because some, some artists have got um, two or three tracks and it explains what albums they're from some historical background to it, um, more modern kind of insights as well into the artists, what happened to them, uh, what they're doing now, if they're still around. It is absolutely, well it's a book on itself to be honest, I mean if you're a fan of kind of 60s folk and you know late 60s Americana, Psychedelia, Electra were the label and um, you know there's just so much stuff here. They, they chose to go all the way up to 1973 and they basically finish with Queen and it's um, so it's unusual to you know to see um, Queen on the Electra label in the States obviously it's very normal. Um, so you've got obviously big huge articles on The Doors, Love, Carly Simon etc. All the big kind of Electra artists so fantastic um, really heavy duty book there. Next is what looks like it's going to be vinyl, but it's not actually what it is. They chose to include some of their kind of iconic covers. This one is Judy Collins, Bread, Strange Days by The Doors, and Forever Changes by Love. Next is then you've got this little folder which opens up and it's got some black and white photographs from Electra artists and they say that one of the key ones is Freddie Mercury from Queen. The Doors. This is really good quality stock as well. Love. Martha Lee. Tom Rush. And then you've got um, these little leaflets which basically go into detail showing you what is on each disc. So this is disc three, everything from Judy Collins to Nico, the Stooges, MC5, Bread, Love. Disc four, which I'll show you in a moment. Harry Chapin, Judy Collins, the Stooges again, uh, Queen. 
this one which really starts in the early 60s so lots of the folk artists from that time with Tom Rush who you saw a picture of a moment ago it is too still in the mid 60s by this point um, Tom Paxton etc Tim Buckley and then you've also got another pack memorabilia Paul Butterfly Blues Band we were involved obviously heavily kind of shown in the box set Nico Fred Neal Carly Simon Tom Paxton the Stooges Tim Buckley I think there might be one more and David Ackles as well and then you get a CD-ROM which has all the artwork for every single album they ever made and this is to tell me that it's a limited edition I've got box number 2150 I imagine nowadays you know there wouldn't even be that many boxes and then in the remainder of the box you've got disc 5 which has kind of got some additional stuff that didn't quite make it as far as they were concerned you've got Joe Bryath um, who who was a bit bowish in the 70s so this that's that one and you've got here the, and the discs themselves come in little books with booklets that show some of the original singles there's no track listing on these that's why you need the little leaflets but they are all done with black um, plastic to look like little vinyl records so you've got this one disc 2 and disc 3 again replica or actually photographs of the singles from the time and then finally disc 4 as I say disc number 5 is separate and that's using the more recognizable Electra thing and you also get two exclusive Wait for the camera to catch up with the focus there. Um, two kind of metal badges of the two separate little emblems that they had during the time. So that is the Electra Forever Changing box set. When this came out, Electra were really interested in obviously dominating the world, showing what they'd done. I just so wish that Ireland had done something like this. Um, so there was also a, a Mojo magazine that talked about this and in that case they also gave away a free CD with the with the Mojo magazine which had again a separate track listing altogether than what was included in this box and to make sure they covered every single base some of you may have seen this um, in, in various bookshops called Follow the Music which was the Life and High Times of Electric Records which was again an even another deep deep look into the whole um, Electra story and included in the back of this was another CD with tracks that weren't included on this giant box so they really went for it on this and um, you know it really is an absolutely stunning box and goes for quite high prices now but this again is how box sets should be done try and find it on eBay it's worth it I don't know how much it's going for now but seriously if you're into this kind of era of, of, of rock and pop and folk this is well worth getting thank you so much for watching talk to you soon thank you